I would like to introduce Hala Akel, the president of the Student Council, who delivered the welcome address. Good evening, Mr. Badner, Mr. Jimenez, Mrs. Stinziano, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Vasquez, staff, family, and friends. I am Hala Akel, president of the Student Council of Schuyler Koufax Middle School, and I am privileged to welcome each of you to the eighth grade graduation for the class of 2011. When I started the sixth grade here, I was petrified. Walking down the hallways, I could almost have sworn that the school's brick walls were closing in on me. I would wander through the corridors with my nose pressed against my schedule, longing to be back in elementary school. By following the wave of other students, I usually ended up in the classroom I was supposed to be in, excluding the times I ended up in the bathroom when I was supposed to be in gym class. Eventually, however, I learned my way around Skylar and in the process stumbled upon some of the greatest of friendships. Between having actually spent time in the school and having had wonderfully supportive sixth grade teachers, I entered the seventh grade with my back a little straighter and my chin held a little higher. We all did because we knew who was who and what was what. We even began poking a little fun at our teachers. We as a grade got into the groove of being Skylar middle schoolers that year. We continued to become closer as a class when we were able to go on trips together like the one to the Titanic exhibit. But entering eighth grade, I think, was a little bittersweet for all of us. We already wanted to move on, to go to high school, but at the same time, we weren't ready to leave. We knew that we were going to deeply miss our days here. Just a few weeks ago, we took our much anticipated three-day trip to Washington, D.C., where not one of us went to sleep by our curfew. We visited many important museums and memorials in our nation's capital and learned interesting facts. But most of all, we created memories we will never forget together. I think I can speak for our entire grade and some teachers too when I say the highlight of our trip to Washington was seeing our very own Miss Folds dance at the cruise our second night there. And just last Friday, we at last held our eighth grade dance where we dressed up as many adults, towered over chaperones, and danced the night away together. Now is the time where I would like to thank all my wonderful teachers over the years for putting up with my unstoppable talking and to thank all the student council advisors, Ms. Folds, Mrs. Tilly, Mrs. Cape, and Mr. Sardi for all the events they planned which really allowed us to end this year with a bang. I know we are all going to miss our time at Schuyler, this past year especially. I now look at those once scary brick walls and now they feel like home. I would like to share this excerpt from All oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss, which expresses my outlook on graduating from middle school and moving on to high school. So be your name Buxbaum or Bixie or Bray, or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. In a matter of minutes, we will be graduates, leaving a school, a grade, and some wonderful teachers behind us. Four years from now, we'll probably be worrying about colleges and about leaving behind the family homes we've grown up in. Will the four years until that moment be all easy and fun? Jokes and laughter? No, they won't be. But I'm sure of one thing, they will be worth it and we will experience them together. Next year, we will be the annoying fresh meat at the high schools we move on to, and it might be scary to suddenly be at the bottom of the food chain. But here, now, today, we are at the top. We're ready and we're graduating. Let's add today to the list of days we'll remember forever. Without further ado, I would like to welcome you all to the promotion ceremony of Schuyler Koufax Middle School's Class of 2011. Thank you. Argenta Caba will now speak to you about her past years at Schuyler Koufax in her promotional address.
Good evening, faculty, family, and the graduating class of 2011. We are gathered here today to celebrate the wonderful accomplishment of graduating the eighth grade. As we close this chapter of our lives, let's take a moment to look back on the memories we shared here at Schuyler. Middle school has been a journey, a journey that began with anxiety and fear and ended with excitement and success. On our very first day, which I'm sure most of us still remember, the dramatic change of now becoming a sixth grader. We were responsible for changing classes, having lockers, and learning our way around a school that was much bigger than what we were used to. Many of us were nervous about getting lost and ending up in the eighth grade wings, and we struggled as we remember our locker combinations, which this is still a struggle today. As we all adjusted to these changes, we made new friends and grew stronger bonds with the old ones. As the days flew by, the anxiety and fear slowly started to disappear. Every, everyone became comfortable with the new, bigger school and the daily routines. As we entered the seventh grade, we were less intimidated and a bit more mature. We enjoyed the annual events, which included the teen canteens, the volleyball tournament, field trips, and the most anticipated spirit week. We embraced our school spirit while having a great time with friends. Finally, the eighth grade. Skylar, by now, Skylar was like a home to us. We all knew that it was going to be the best year by far. We looked forward to going to the Washington DC, the class picnic, the award ceremony, and the eighth grade dance. These events will never be forgotten. Our achievements would not have been possible without the support of our families. They have been there to help us study, stay focused, and finish the last minute projects which we always seem to forget about. They have been there for us when we needed them the most, and for this, we thank them. We would also like to thank our teachers for providing us with the guidance and support, giving us extra help and extra credit, and having a few laughs in between, making our time here more memorable. The past three years have helped us grow and learn lessons we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. Even though high school will also contain some very valuable memories, let's not forget the accomplishments and great times we have had at Schuyler Colfax Middle School. Congratulations, we made it. Laura Christie will now describe the requirements need to be awarded the Athletic Fitness Excellence Award. This evening, I have the honor to explain the criteria for receiving the Athletic Excellence Award. The Athletic Excellence Award is awarded to those eighth graders who pass 10 out of 10 fitness tests. The tests involve muscular endurance and strength activities, flexibility, and cardiorespiratory endurance activities. The muscular endurance and strength tests are curl-ups, pull-ups, flexed arm hang, bench steps, and the shuttle run. The flexibility test is the sit and reach. The cardiorespiratory endurance tests are comprised of the five minute jump rope, half mile run, one mile run, and the pacer run. Students who achieve 10 out of 10 passing scores are in the super fit club. These students receive recognition on a plaque that is donated by the PTO and located outside the gymnasium. We are pleased to acknowledge 32 Athletic Excellence Award winners this evening. This at this time, I would like to have the entire Athletic Excellence Award winner stand and be recognized.
As a special tribute, will the 11 three-year winners remain standing? And now, one of our students, Ronald Ankner, will be describing the requirements needed to be met in order to receive the Presidential Academic Fitness Award. Good evening. The Presidential Academic Fitness Award was established to encourage students to achieve high academic standards by recognizing them for educational excellence. The Academic Fitness Awards are determined by two levels of achievement. First, students must have a grade point average at at least 3.5 on a scale from 0 to 4.0. The student's GPA is based upon the grades received for the four marking periods of the sixth and seventh grades and the first two marking periods of the eighth grade. Additionally, students must have scored in at least the 85th percentile on the New Jersey AS standardized achievement test in mathematics and or reading. This year, we are very pleased to acknowledge 107 academic award winners. At this time, I would like to have all of the Presidential Academic Award winners stand and be recognized. Mr. Vasquez, our vice principal, will now present the prestigious Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizenship Award. Good evening. I am delighted to be presenting Good Citizenship Medals to Schuyler Colfax Middle School students on behalf of the Hester Schuyler Colfax Chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. The DAR is a hereditary and service society devoted to education, preserving history, and promoting patriotism. We believe that awarding Good Citizenship Medals is an opportunity to emphasize the ideals of good citizenship. Over 200 medals are presented to worthy New Jersey students every year that have outstanding qualities of honor, service, courage, leadership, and patriotism. The Hester Schuyler Colfax Chapter is proud to present Good Citizenship Medals to two members of the eighth grade class. It is my privilege and pleasure to present these medals to Emily Buno, and Christopher Curran. Please come up. Congratulations. I take great pleasure in introducing our principal, Mr. Mitchell, who will be presenting the class. Before I begin my brief comments, I'd certainly like to remind everyone again that we are simulcasting in the 
auditorium, which is air conditioned and cushioned seats. So if you would like to move down to there, if it's a little more comfortable, please do so. Good evening, parents, family members, Skylar Koufax faculty, Mr. Roth, Interim Superintendent of Schools, Wayne Board of Education trustees, Mr. Badner, Mrs. Stinziano, Mr. Jimenez, and the class of 2011. I welcome you this evening to the Skylar Koufax Middle School Promotion Ceremony. I would like to begin by saying I am very proud of the success and accomplishments of the students sitting before you tonight. The journey that brought us to tonight's celebration was accomplished as a team working together toward a common goal. It is due in part to you, the students, for your scholarship, dedication, and perseverance that you have displayed as a Schuyler student. Your success can also be attributed to the teachers who have facilitated lessons to meet the individual needs of all students from the time you entered grade six as a red or white team member, moved on to seventh grade as a member of the Panthers or Wolves team, and now in eighth grade as an Eagle or a Hawk team member. And of course, I would be remiss if I did not mention the tremendous part that your parents have played in your middle school education. Proofreading papers, arranging for tutors, last minute supply runs, drives to a friend's house for a group project, and all the concerts, games, and performances they attended. I think it's only fitting now to acknowledge both your teachers and your parents with a round of applause because they share in your success. So what is success? If we asked 12 people to define it, we would get 12 different answers. Webster's Dictionary defines it as an event that accomplishes its intended purpose. Dictionary.com defines it as the favorable or prosperous termination of attempts or endeavors. But perhaps John Wooden, the legendary basketball Hall of Fame coach of UCLA, defined it best. Success comes from knowing that you did your best to become the best that you are capable of becoming. I'd like to point out that these bright and talented students have demonstrated success not only in the academic arena, but also as contributors to various social concerns. In their three years at Schuyler Colfax, the class of 2011 has raised and donated money to numerous national and local groups, collected toys in the Toys for Tots campaign, and collected and donated clothing to local agencies for those in need. Cultural anthropologist Margaret Mead stated, I must admit that I personally measure success in terms of the contributions that an individual makes to his or her fellow human beings. By that measure, these 251 students have achieved success. So now you are ready to move on to high school, be it Wayne Hills High School or one of the other fine high schools in the area. I am confident that with the knowledge and skills that you have learned while at Skylar Colfax, you are equipped and ready for whatever educational challenges lie ahead. I wish you all success and happiness in the years to come. Mr. Badner, Mr. Roth, on this 21st day of June 2011, I hereby certify that the members of the 2011 Skylar Koufax Middle School 8th grade class have completed and passed all of the necessary coursework assessments as prescribed by the Wayne Board of Education and the State of New Jersey. I therefore recommend them for promotion to the ninth grade. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Mr. Mitchell Badner, Vice President of the Wayne Board of Education.
Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Good evening. I'll keep my comments brief, but hopefully inspiring. Uh, this is truly a wonderful occasion and an honor to be here at this event tonight. On behalf of the Wayne Board of Education, I'd like to extend heartfelt congratulations to all eighth graders and their families. You are now ready to move on to the next step in your educational career. This next step will bring numerous challenges and many opportunities. Use what you've learned thus far in your education to meet those challenges and be sure to take advantage of the many opportunities available to you in high school. I also want to congratulate all of the parents, grandparents, guardians for their efforts. The results of your success are sitting here tonight. It's a great job for everyone and I wish you the very best for the future. Thank you. James Hayner. Gilbert Espinoza. Carly Pizer. Vanessa Herrera. Danielle D'Amico. Kartik Prabhu. Ronald Ankner, Laura Christie, Argenta Caba, Hala Akel, Alyssa Barado, Emily Buno. Nicole Ziza, Elizabeth Ventura, David Tallarico, Rachel Roy, Alicia Gonzalez, Brooke Healy, Bianca Riley, Kayla Falconeri, Catherine Muller, Samuel Lehman, Zachary Brogna, Roy Fabian. Jeremy Park, Justin Diglio, Sam Pirelli, Jessica Cullum, Danielle Chiavetta, Alessandra Grave, 
Lily Caparosa. Marcello Minucci. Noah Lehman. Joseph Martineau. Logan Stack. Martha Novak. Kevin Supino. Jason Levine. Justin Barada. Josephine Floyd. Elizabeth Keenan. Sohan Park. Paige Gowers. Alinette Vasquez. Rebecca Pohl. Priscilla Elliott. Nicole Cusick. Claire Trainer. Vera Yaraganti. Patrick De Marinas. Joshua Lim. Harris Shimanovic. Luke Gilmore. Michael Jackson. Rohit Shinde. Justin Jaffe. Brian Chong. Cortland McKinney. Kimberly Steed. Sydney Lowe. Brandy Rizica. Devin Logic Harvey. Robert Testino. Anna Lauren Bach. Perry Fingerhut. Brianna LaGuardia. Madison Bidas. Marissa Rowe. Peyton Bensavenga. Shoshana Cosden. Joshua Serrano Cruz. Ryan Denomi. Christopher Favacci. Sheba Carmaker. Serena Sabak. Danielle Raffinelli. Ashley Jacobs. Calliope Logothetis. Punya Renjin. Neha Raja. Julia Scottolero. Justin Grisanti. Aaron Kalupa. Matthew Janice. Zachary Alba. Marina Trovato. Raina Aladwin. Jess Truzio. 
Delaney Tarpey. Emma Higgins. Tori Mazza. Nick Azar. Rebecca Mintz. Samantha Saro. Tara Kim. Shane Bayrant. Ravi Melwani. Tim Jones. Jared Appel. Jesse Fixlin. Christopher Good. Erica Knudsen. Julia Lassen. Farah Abushi. Christine DeTaranti. Claire Kresge. Maria Lambridis. Tiffany Dable. Sylvia Zawistowska. Hannah Talos. Kyle Hogan. Jennifer Pekarski. Kaylin McCafferty. Dylan Dokes. Anthony Vigorito. Zachary Alshamus. Michael Brennan. Anthony Casera. Kevin McCarrick. Tyler Ramirez. Maid Mamedovic. Sabrina Cerny. Brooke Adamchak. Dana Cavallo. Erica Bush. Nicole Levy. Leanne Essig. Danny Abo. John Cartusen. Ishmael Hosian. Joseph Stinziano. Tyler Gormley. Michael Morandi. Lillian Blostein. Nicole Jinyak. Rachel Bodecker. June Pack. Caitlin Kay. Stephanie Kivlon. Victoria Silvestri. Hannah Kim. Juliana Link. Megan Brennan. Alexandra Davies. Alexandra Lazar. Alyssa Alvino. Eliza Limite. Grace Akampura. 
Valerie Piper. Olivia Kesselhaupt. Christina Perone. Abby Tremonti. Amanda Miller. Sarah Tayback. Emily Ackerman. Leah Cawthorn. Brooke Kowalski. Sophia Lewin. Kenneth Belgard. Ian Souter. Brandon Lee. Brandon Moore. Louis Pincinini. Arthur Zajak. Sarah Reed. McKenna Poles. Allison Merck. Jane Takbiannon. Carolyn Hirsch. Caitlin Ferraro. Isabella Ambrosio. Jasmine Solomon. Rachel Seplo. Amanda Heba. Amanda Gricklack. Cora Ramadan. Alex Cashman. Zach Schneidman. Chris Garone. Casey Hunsaker. Matthew Carl. Patrick Jezuski. Chris Phillips. Taylor Carnes. John Critchfield. Louis Dix. Oren Titel. Matthew Causen. Christopher Curran. Dan Chen. Rishi Joshnani. Nicholas Croce. Peter Aiden. Ian Kremen. Julian Roma. Christopher Kuline. Christopher Mohal. Samantha Lombardi. Cosmo Guarini. Sarah Peckham. Daniel Schwartz. Anthony Dandria. Dylan Whitford. Sarah Auerbach. Monica Stoll. Josh Shaw. Eric Newman. 
Deepsa Duman. Emma Schultz. Maria Panzerino. Danny Rydell. Gregory Schwartz. Michael Brosnick. Christian Chaus. Zach Kay. James Lee. Ryan Maskell. David Torres. Frankie Falzerano. Adam Santana. Gabriel Moran. Tyler Sanfilippo. Shelby Zock. Sarah Lynn Domstarter. Christina Langan. Carter Klein. Sean Whitney. Justin Donnelly. Justin Hogan. Evan Hyun. Patrick McKeon. Peter Pauzuski. Tyler Barch. Christian Brogan. Nicholas Galachi. Devin Belmar. Christian Santangelo. Anthony Gabinelli. Matthew Buciccio. Tommy Polidor. Brandon Dizon. Eric Thomas. Douglas Hirsch. Grant Kelly. Mark Pressler. <laughs> Nicholas Crouchuk. Tyler Rigoli. And Matthew Rosen. Everyone wants to be remembered for something they have done, and the students at Schuyler are no different. Here is Danielle D'Amico, who will present the class message. Class of 2011, teachers, parents, faculty, board members, Principal Mitchell, Vice Principal Vasquez, thank you for allowing me the honor of standing here tonight. To begin, I'd like to congratulate everyone here for graduating. I'd also like to thank all of our teachers who have spent their time preparing and teaching us everything we know for high school. Wow, it's going to be crazy to be able to say that I'm in high school now. It seems like just yesterday, we were walking into Skylar Colfax for the very first time. 
Since then, we have grown up so much, whether we realize it or not. We are much more responsible, reliable, and mature than that first day back in sixth grade. It's incredible, really, and thanks all again once to our teachers and parents. As we all enter into Wayne Hills, we will be faced with new challenges and options that we will overcome and hopefully choose wisely. It's a big difference from Skylar, but we are all ready to make the transition. While we are in high school, we are all going to go different ways. We'll have football players, members of the marching band, choir, the National Honor Society, artists, and cheerleaders. Every single one of us will work hard to get where we want to be. As the famous saying goes, I never said it would be easy, I said it would be worth it. I hate to sound corny, but whether you enjoyed these last three years or not, they really are the best times of our lives. We will look back in several years and wish we were right back here. Don't waste your high school years. Thank you, congratulations, and I'll see you next year. Vanessa Herrera and Carly Pizer are now going to recognize some very special people. Good evening. I would like to take a moment to thank some special people who helped to make our eighth grade year fabulous. I am honored to recognize those who contributed their time and energy in making our time at, here at a great success. First, I would like to thank the PTO for all the fun activities we had these past three years. We will always remember the teen canteens, eighth grade breakfast, and our countless assemblies. I would also like to thank all the teachers for giving us the tools and knowledge we will need to succeed. Now the rest is up to us. Our future looks bright and you have played a major part. At this time, we would like to thank the following people who have made this year extra special by chaperoning the Washington DC Strip. Please stand as your name is called. Mr. Appel. Mrs. Barch. Mrs. Buno. Mrs. Bach. Mr. Christie. Mrs. Dable. Mrs. Elliot. Mr. Ferrero. Mr. Janice. Mrs. Grisanti. Mr. Cashman. Mrs. Lewin. Mr. Lillis. Mrs. Logothetis. Mr. Mirandi. Mr. Pressler. Mr. Rigoli. Mrs. Rosen. Mr. Santangelo. Mr. Tallarico. Mr. Thomas. Mrs. Travato. Mrs. Vasquez. And Mr. Ventura. Mrs. Anderson. Mr. Banks, Mr. Bright, Mrs. Cerigliano, Mrs. Tadeo, Ms. Folds, 
Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Hannenberg, Miss Leo, Mr. Mitchell, Miss Mulk, Mr. Mucha, Mr. Sardi, Mrs. Tilly, Mr. Way. Finally, to our parents, you have played the most important role. We thank you with all of our hearts. In the years to come, we know you will always be there for us through the good and bad times. Thank you, everyone, for all the support you have given us. Ms. Sister Egliano, where would we be without you? You, of all people, helped us to literally survive. If it weren't for you, for your kindness and care, many of us would have been left feeling unwell and hurt. You are not just a nurse, but one who could talk to us when we were upset. Please come up to let us give back to you a small portion of what you gave us. Now I'd like to acknowledge two very special women, Ms. Folds and Mrs. Tilly. There have been many events that we at Schuyler Colfax have been able to participate in because of the both of you. The trip to Washington, the eighth grade dance, the picnic at Tom's Lake, the eighth grade slideshow, as well as the ceremony this evening. We would like to thank you for giving us all of your time, energy, effort, and dedication to make the year the very best. We will always remember you both when we think back on our Schuyler Colfax experience. With all of our hearts, we'd like to present you with this small token of our appreciation. Thank you everyone for all the support you have given us. <laughs> 